Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hurd and from the Magical Kill Car YouTube channel and today I've got another video for you guys. This one is a slightly different video. This is Minecraft. Yes, Minecraft. The game in which you build and be creative and I have another creative video for you guys. This is a tutorial actually for how to create wireless redstone on Minecraft Vanilla 1.2.5. It may work in future releases. I'm not 100% sure. Just check the comments, see if people have said so. Or just try it out and see if it works. And that's pretty much your best bet. So I'm going to give a short demonstration first here. So we're going to fly up here. And as you can see the redstone lamps are off. And as you can see, there is no redstone connecting these two platforms. I'm going to click on. And hopefully this will work. Now this can be a bit buggy, but it did work. Awesome. It, <laughs> the redstone lamps worked. So now we're going to fly down here. And I'm just going to click the off button. And it shoots the arrow, as you can hear. And then, well, you won't be able to hear it because I'll mute the sound. But uh, then the off, it's off. Yeah, the redstone lamp is off. <laughs> and there is no redstone connecting it. It's just pure small devices that connect it. So I'm just going to show you the redstone behind it. As you can see, it's just these buttons connecting to the dispenser. And it shoots these glass panes. Now, it then goes into this contraption that I'll get into soon. But I think you need to learn about the basically the principle of how the hitboxes in Minecraft work. If you don't already know, a hitbox is something that all games consist of. And it's basically the data in the game that stops you from walking through solid blocks. As you can see, I can't walk through this block. However, I can place down this glass pane and you can still see the hitbox, sort of. Um, it's just that black line around it. Uh, but I can still walk into this. Therefore, the hitbox has changed on this and then people that are into redstone can use this to their advantage and into exploiting the game. And it's not really exploiting, it's just a really cool way. Now, this does work on Minecraft multiplayer, which is awesome as well. So, I guess I'll show you how to build it now. And just thought I'd let you know, it does work from up here. You can click on, and the redstone lamps turn on, and you can press it off, and they go off. But that's not as um, cool, because they're on the same platform. This is all the way down here, and there's no redstone connecting it. I can't stress that enough, there is no redstone connecting it. So, let's go ahead and build it. So, first thing you want to do is you want to build a 3x2 little platform like this. And destroy the middle block and then the, these corner blocks. So you've just got something similar to this. Throw down a repeater in the middle, like so, and put it on the fourth tick. Then put a redstone on the left hand side, and then underneath that block, just put a redstone torch. And as you can see, it will start ticking quite slowly. And this will basically, it's basically a simple clock that is going to operate the entire machine. So just leave a gap after this side block and put a sticky piston there. And then put a glass pane on top of that. Then throw down a redstone just next to it. And then it will start going up and down. As you can see, up, down, up, down. So what you want to do is you want to slow this down, sort of. You want to just throw a redstone torch here. And then it will pulse a bit more. It will go up, down, up, down. Well, down, up. Yeah, <laughs> down, up. And that is basically um, what kind of operates it because of this glass pane. So now what we're going to do is going to throw down a 2x2 two two square here of any block type you want, any solid block. And on the uh, right block, put a pressure plate. Uh, it has to be a wooden one. And then just go ahead and throw down a boat on there so that it can be pushed up and down, but you can also land on the pressure plate. Now to show these, uh, these useless three blocks, because you don't really need them. And then the contraption is pretty much almost done and... It's really simple, I can't stress that enough. <laughs> so just wire up your redstone to this um, pressure plate. So as you can see, I'm just going to wire it down here um, with... Ah, uh, oh, rain. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to wire it up here with um, a sticky piston, why not? And then what you want to do is just want to... Uh, that's your receiver. This is basically your entire receiver. Now you just want to put down your transmitter. Now this can be anywhere, I believe you can have it... Um, like I had mine down there and it went all the way up there, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to try it back here. Uh, and if you shoot an arrow to the right, to the left hand side, it will turn the redstone off, as you can see. Now if we shoot it to the left hand side, uh, to the right hand side even, um, it will power it. So left is off, right is on. And that's pretty much it. It works pretty much all the time. It's sometimes... Uh, sometimes uh, Minecraft doesn't register the arrow being pushed into the block, but it does work pretty flawlessly. I can uh, make it here, I believe, as well. 
So you can have multiple um, transmitters and receivers. Uh, oh, that I missed. Put fire. Oh, maybe not. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, right. So that doesn't work. Um, this is just all trial and error for me. Um, so you can have multiple ones. It's just Minecraft does bug out a bit sometimes. That's just uh, because Minecraft is a bit buggy sometimes. So there we go. It turned off and then we can turn it on by shooting an arrow there. And there we go. Sorry about the rambling. In this video, I just thought I'd uh, go over some testing as well. So, as I said, this does work in multiplayer and single player, and I hope you like this video. If you want to see more of these awesome Minecraft tutorials, be sure to, cl to click the subscribe button above to be notified when I post them. My name has been Hayden, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.